Hello everybody, it's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan! Today I am doing a taste test, one of my favorite things to do. I'm about to taste all of these vegan snacks and I am so excited because I have not eaten breakfast yet so... I'm gonna be having these things for breakfast, okay? All of these products that I got are from Thrive Market who are very kindly sponsoring this video. And if you have not heard of Thrive Market, they are basically an online wholesale retailer and they sell tons of organic and natural items at discounted prices. And for an annual membership fee of only $60, you get access to about 25 to 50% off retail prices. And today, of course, they're giving you guys yet another beautiful discount of 25% off your first order plus free shipping. So if you need to buy some groceries this week I mean you might as well get yourself that 25% off your first order and plus their items are already discounted and they have tons and tons of vegan options so definitely check them out and thank you so much for sponsoring this video now let's get on with the taste test okay. some of these products are a lot bigger than I had thought <laughs> but you know what it's all right with me now I think I'm gonna start with something a little bit healthy to kind of like you know create a healthy base for all the junk that's about to go in. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I got this Mama Chia, Chia Squeeze Vitality Snack in strawberry and banana. This is like a giant pack. I could take this for lunch. I imagine it's like juice. Let's try. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. It's coming again. Anyways, yes, that is how I, I sneeze. Anyways, I feel like it's like a healthy juice box. Let's just try it, okay? Mm. Kind of like a cross between jelly and juice. Like a very soft jello. Mm. But I get the crunchiness of the chia seeds in there. Ooh. Hoo -hoo. Mm -hmm. This is really good. It's like not overly sweet. It's more like, what's the word I'm looking for? Not tart. Tangy. You know sour in a good way? Like when fruits are sour? Is that? I don't know. Chia seeds. It's good for you guys. Next! I got this vegan jerky. This is from the brand Louisville. Louisville? Louisville? What? Vegan jerky. I've never been like a huge jerky person. I've just never like, I don't know, jerky. It's just never been a big thing for me. Thought I would try this to see what I think. I just feel like it was always too salty and I'm like, what is this like dried up piece of meat? Let's see, let's see what it tastes like, okay? Ooh, it definitely smells like jerky. This one is in the flavor maple bacon. It looks like, I mean, is this what jerky looks like? Looks like a piece of chicken or something. Mm-hmm. Mm. I can definitely taste like the sweetness. It tastes just like jerky. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's actually pretty good. I feel like I need to have it with like beer. Mm hmm. This and beer. Oh my, it's actually really good, you guys. <laughs> it tastes like this Korean thing, which I can't remember what it, it's called. It's like Korean jerky, kind of. It's like dried up meat or fish or something, and you eat it with like beer. So you drink beer and then you eat it. It's like anju. I don't know if you guys saw my mukbang video, but I talked about anju, which is basically a Korean term for foods you eat while you drink alcohol. Like, while you drink. It's like 8 in the morning, and I'm like, I want beer with this. But this is actually really good. If you like jerky, this tastes just like jerky. I'm actually enjoying it. This is like probably one of the best jerkies I've had, actually. Because usually I find that it's like overly salty or like overly like tough. But this is like, I think maybe because it's slightly sweet because it's maple, it kind of counteracts the super saltiness. And it's not like super salty for jerky. And the texture is not super tough. I actually am really enjoying this. Gosh darn. I'm gonna have another piece. <laughs> this is really addictive. Seven grams of protein for 80 calories. If you care. Mm -mm -mm. Now, I feel like I should have a cookie. Crunchy chocolate chip cookies by Simple Mills. It is naturally gluten-free, made with simple whole food ingredients. So guys, even when you have junk food, have healthy junk food, okay? This is what it looks like. So this, this is gonna sound really weird, but it tastes like there's ginger in it and there's no ginger in it. <laughs> as soon as I had a bite, I was like, 
Okay, there's some ginger in this. But, no, there is no ginger. I don't know how I feel about these guys. They're okay. <laughs> Once again, I'm like, I don't know how I feel. Let me just eat five more. Um, I like the texture. Pretty much crunchy chocolate chip cookies. That's basically what it is. However, it has a bit of a weird taste. Not gonna lie. I don't know how to describe it. it like, it's kind of gingery. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Guys, yesterday I had this weird bitter taste in my mouth. It was so weird. Like, that's not what it is right now. Well, I don't think it is. But anyway. I had the weirdest bitter taste in my mouth all day. For example, I was drinking my black coffee, which I usually always do in the morning. And then by the end of it, I almost could not drink it anymore because it was so bitter in my mouth. What is that? I thought it was the coffee. I was like, maybe I made it raw or maybe it's what I ate with it. But then throughout the day, the same thing kept happening. Like anything I was eating or drinking would taste really bitter. And then my mouth would just feel really bitter afterwards. Why? I was like, oh my God, am I getting ill? Like what is happening? <laughs> this is not the situation. I don't think it's not tasting bitter. It just kind of has, once again, I'm just going on. There is a bit of a taste, which I don't know what it is. I'll still eat it, let's be real. <laughs> Might taste better when I come home drunk, you know? You know what? Let's give chocolate another go. I have here one of Thrive Market's products. This is Thrive Market almonds. These are chocolate-covered almonds. Dark chocolate-covered almonds. Vegan, non-GMO, kosher, made in the USA. This be what it looks like. You guys know what chocolate-covered almonds look like, all right? Okay. Mm, uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Thrive. Ah! You guys, I haven't had chocolate covered almonds in like so long. I'm so happy. These are so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't remember the last time I had chocolate covered almonds because they're usually like made with milk chocolate. <gasps> so if you miss chocolate covered almonds and you're vegan, this is like so good. Okay, here we go. Let's just do that. Okay, there we go. That just created some unnecessary space. Okay, why do I care about this? I have here this gigantic bag of popcorn, which I swear I did not know was this big. This is the Earth Balance Vegan Buttery Popcorn. Now, I'm gonna be real, guys. I don't remember if I've ever eaten this. I've seen it multiple times, and I feel like I have tried this, but probably a long time ago. But I just wanted it, okay? Oh, it smells like buttery popcorn, you guys. I'm feeling this, I'm feeling. Hey. So my roommate just walked in. Yeah. Say hi, Nicole. Hi. So we're gonna try this popcorn. Tastes like buttery popcorn. It's really good, guys. It's perfect for like movie night. Mm. I can't stop. Mmm. It might be the best vegan popcorn in a bag that I've had. I've had some ones that are like, maybe it's not as much flavor as I want it to be. It's not as buttery as I want it to be, but this actually tastes like buttery popcorn. But it's not butter, obviously. Mmm, earth balance. Yes. Next, I think I'm gonna try this like healthy looking thing. Pure organic strawberry banana fruit bars. Layered fruit bars, which I don't really know. There's like a million in here. Like, I don't even know how many that is, guys. Oh, they're like tiny. How cute. So I guess this is like a little pick-me-up. Or if you need something like sweet in the middle of the day. Okay, so it's one of these things like here where it's like layers of concentrated fruit. Mmm. 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 It's really good. It's definitely sweet, but not in like an artificial way. It's just sweet because it's like fruity. You know those like fruit snacks? Oh my god, what are they called? It's like flat and rectangular and you can like peel. They're like two and they're like stuck together and then you can like peel it off and it's like super, super thin. You know what I'm talking about? This reminds me of that, but thicker and probably much healthier. <laughs> All right, let's try this Unreal Dark Chocolate Peanut Gems. So Unreal are the famous people that produce the vegan peanut butter cups. 
or almond butter cups. The vegan version of Reese's Pieces. So I think this is their version of like chocolate covered peanuts that are like candied on the outside. You know what I'm talking about. So I really like their peanut butter cups and I actually almost got those ones instead, but I've already tried them. So I thought, okay, I'll try something new, but I love their peanut butter cups and their almond butter cups. They're so good. Hopefully these are just as good. So these are like chocolate covered peanuts with candied coating on the outside. Okay. Oh my God, you guys, these are like, what are they? What are those things? M&M's? Are they called M&M's? <laughs> Why do I not know? Smarties? M&M's? Smarties! Or M&M's? They're like M&M's. This is like vegan M&M's, guys. Oh my god. I'm really happy with my choices. Other than the cookies. <laughs> Nicole, try this. Huh? It's a vegan M&M. Oh, really? Or it tastes like a vegan M&M. Let me know what it tastes like to you. you Does it taste like M&M? Exactly like M&M. Guys, did you hear that? She said it tastes exactly like an M&M. Coming from a non-vegan. <laughs> It's so good. You heard it here, folks. She said it tastes like an M&M. Bye, have a good day. <laughs> All right, you guys, we've got three more things to try and I'm sad it's coming to an end already. But I am so excited because, let's be real, we got some vegan marshmallows. Yes, I have tried these before. I mean, I had to show you guys. Come on, let's be real, okay? Maybe you haven't seen these. All natural. Gelatin-free, vegan, all that good stuff. Why can't I open these? Why? Where are you? Okay, let me get, oh God. Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. Scissors, wonderful invention. As you can see, it looks like a marshmallow. And it tastes like a marshmallow. It has the same texture. Hmm. Shall we try something? This might be a little bit risque. <laughs> Am I really doing this? This is all for research. Oh! Oh my god! Hold on. Oh my god, it toasts like a marshmallow. Like, obviously this heat is quite strong because it's right in front of it, but you know. I want to know if I can like peel it off. You know the layer? The layer of marshmallow? The layer? This is all very exciting. Hold on. Who dat? Okay, maybe it doesn't peel like a marshmallow. Mmm, you guys, that burnt marshmallow taste. Is this healthy? Probably not. I mean, what are marshmallows? It's just like sugar. <laughs> I'm just eating like burnt sugar. Mmm. I need to go camping. Some hazelnut butter dark chocolate. So this is from the brand Hue, I think, with the fancy U. Mm hmm So this is like thick chocolate bar. Mmm. There's like hazelnut butter in the inside. There's like a layer inside that's like soft. Mmm. Oh my god, guys, this is so good. This has like a very rich chocolatey flavor. That is so rich and intense and delicious. You can like taste that it's like high quality. Like it doesn't taste like cheap chocolate, but it's also not like... You know what I don't like? Those really fancy chocolates. Maybe I'm just like not fancy. <laughs> Am I just stating the obvious? You know those fancy chocolates that are just like in those like really fancy chocolate boxes? There's like all these random flavors like cherry with like syrup inside the chocolate. Like I don't really like those. The fanciest chocolate I probably liked before I was vegan was like Ferrero Rocher. By the way, if there is a vegan version of Ferrero Rocher, hit me up. Okay. But this is like, how do I describe it? It tastes high quality, but it's not one of those fancy chocolates that I don't like that I wouldn't have. This is like high quality, deep and rich tasting chocolate with the hazelnut flavor it's so delicious this is one of those things that i would love to have just like a little piece of after i have dinner i love having like a small piece of like dark chocolate after i have dinner and i feel like you can't eat a lot of this because it's like so rich you could probably have one piece and like feel satisfied and like there's your there's your dessert you know this is the packaging i don't know if i showed you properly but let's show you again in case you missed it and the ingredients are really simple. It's like cacao, hazelnut, unrefined coconut sugar, organic fair trade cocoa butter. That's it? Seriously. Okay, now. <laughs> Last but not least, of course, I had to add a cocoa mel product. These are chocolate covered coconut milk caramels. I've tried their caramel candy thingies, but this I don't think I've tried. Now I feel really like 
Ugh. Let's try this. It smells like chocolate. Clearly, I like chocolate. This is vanilla flavor, chocolate covered, coconut milk caramels. Oh my. Hmm. Whew. There's a lot happening in my mouth right now. If you were expecting a liquidy inside, it's not a liquidy inside. I don't know why I was expecting like a more liquidy interior where it kind of like melts in your mouth, but it's more like the, I don't know if you guys have had their caramel bites before. I don't know if they're called caramel bites, but like they have these like caramel candies and they're like really chewy and rich and delicious. It's literally that inside chocolate. So it's really yummy, don't get me wrong guys, but I was expecting like more of like a melty inside, but you have to chew a lot. I mean, it's still delicious. Let me just give it a go now that I know what to expect. <laughs> Cause you know when you have something, like you were expecting something else, so then you're just like thrown off and you're like, oh my God. See, it's like, it's like caramel inside. Okay, yeah, see, it's good. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's sweet, it's caramelly, makes you work, gets stuck in your teeth, just like caramel. It's actually really yummy. Mm -hmm. I don't really taste the vanilla. Really nice, delicious caramel with sweet, delicious chocolate. Highly recommend this as well. So. I mean, look at all of this. All vegan friendly, available online. You can get it ordered to you directly you don't even have to go shopping and oh my gosh you guys i am actually full from eating all the snacks that's pretty much it for my video i want to thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to thrive market for sponsoring this video if you guys are interested in thrive market don't forget to check out the link down below and get yourself 25 percent off your first order and of course if you guys are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>